In this video, you will not only learn what a nofollow link is, but also when to use it and how it differs from sponsored and UGC links. Then to tie everything together, we will discuss how these link types affect SEO, which is search engine optimization. Okay, so there are four different ways that you can communicate your relationship with a linked page to search engines. You have regular, nofollow, sponsored, and UGC, which stands for user generated content. For a while, the only options were a regular link or a nofollow link, but then in 2019, Google introduced sponsored and UGC. These new link types rightfully cause some confusion, but my hope is that I can provide some clarity for you. So let's start out with nofollow. According to the official HTML standard, the nofollow keyword indicates that the link is not endorsed by the original author or publisher of the page or that the link was included because of a commercial relationship between people affiliated with the two pages. So the second half of this about the commercial relationship makes sense, but in my opinion, the meaning of endorsement is unclear. Thankfully, John Mueller, who is pretty much one of the faces of SEO at Google, clarifies what endorsement means in this case. You should be able to, to understand which part of the content that you write about is actual content that you want to have indexed like that that you want to stand for. And if these are things that you want, want to stand for, then make sure that you have normal links on there. Make sure that uh, you're, you're kind of referring to that content as something that, yes, I, I can stand behind this link because I researched this topic, and this is the, the kind of the, the source. Uh, this is maybe some other resources that lead to more information on this topic. This is what I, I research from. This is an authority that I'm quoting. All of these things are kind of reasons to place normal links on a page. So according to Google, there are reasons to use regular links. Or in other words, there are reasons not to use nofollow links. And in these cases, the linked page is being publicly approved, endorsed by the source. Google pretty much took the commercial relationship part of the HTML standard definition for nofollow links and created another rail value called sponsored. In Google's own words, mark links that are advertisements or paid placements, commonly called paid links with the sponsored value. In addition to ads and paid links, sponsored links also include affiliate links. Now, since these sponsored and UGC values are not recognized by the HTML standard yet, in order to be backward compatible, it might be a good idea to use a rel value with both nofollow and sponsored. Additionally, from Google's perspective, nofollow on its own is still a valid way to qualify paid links. However, they do state that they prefer you to use sponsored links. Another rel value is UGC, which stands for user generated content. And this includes links in comments, posts, and other content on a website that originates from users. As with sponsored, until the HTML standard catches up with Google's initiative, it might be a good idea to use both nofollow and UGC. While we as visitors to a web page only see a blue hyperlink, a search engine will actually look at the attributes of the link. In the most simple terms, a search engine will check to see if an external link has a rel attribute with a nofollow, sponsored, or UGC value. If a link has one of those values, then the search engine will not crawl the other page. On the other hand, if a link does not have any of those values, then the search engine will crawl the other page and pass along ranking credit to the other page. It's very clear to me when I should be using sponsored and UGC links, and my hope is that you now feel the same way. Based on my understanding, I rarely see the need to use nofollow by itself. I generally only link externally to reference something relevant, and I can't really think of a situation where I linked externally but did not want to be associated with the website. In other words, if I don't want to endorse a website, then I'm probably not going to link to it in the first place. For further clarification, I recommend that you seek guidance only from reputable sources like Google Search Central, which I have linked below. Next, I recommend that you check out this video right here, which will explain the difference between no follow, no opener, and no refer, and I will see you over there.